You're tuning into Black and White Sports on YouTube. The no holds barred truth on sports. The main event starts now. I am back. Rudrance for Black and White Sports 2. If you're new to the channel, hit subscribe, like, comment, let me know what you think about this. Oh my goodness. The world's exploding over at ESPN. We've seen over uh, over the past couple of years them cut some really strong talent. A lot of guys that a lot of us watched, Mike Golick, Trey Wingo, guys like that are no longer there as we saw ESPN spin itself into more of a woke political machine as opposed to just talking about sports that turned a lot of viewers off and it also turned down the ratings. Well, as a result, Disney is looking to cut some cut some salaries, try to free some money up. Bob Iger, of course, talked about the fact that Disney was going to lay off 7,000 jobs. Now, I don't know if a lot of people realize this, but part of this whole thing was the fact that they were getting sued by a shareholder over the lack of profits that Disney was getting across the board. Well, one of the rumors that came out of that was part of that settlement... Or, or, or that the agreeing uh, to let the lawsuit go was the idea that they were going to cut quite a few jobs. By the way, that lawsuit had to do with getting involved with politics and not maximizing profits. Um, in fact, he was a shareholder that is a Trump supporter that had actually sued them. And again, he agreed to back off the lawsuit, quit the lawsuit, if Disney would take major steps to try to free up monetary funds. Well, here we are, and it looks like two of the biggest names left over at ESPN could be facing the axe right now because of the fact that, number one, they're not on the air very much anymore and because of their salaries. Keep in mind, they just gave Pat McAfee $17 bucks a year. And now they may be, they could, the rumor has it, be letting Steve Young and Susie Kolber go. And they have been there for a very long time. Of course, Steve Young, I'm just going to be real, I'm a 49ers fan. Steve Young was my favorite NFL player of all time. 49ers quarterback, left-hander. Um, and now it looks like, he, of course, he's on Monday Night Football. It looks like Steve Young potentially could be getting the ax here. Disney Corporation is reportedly set to kick off yet another wave of layoffs at its cable sports network, ESPN. While the situation is, quote, fluid, insiders are telling the New York Post that the top network brass is going over their list and will soon begin the process of informing employees who are slated for layoffs. Reportedly, on-air employees with high salaries but relatively lighter workloads, including Susie Colbert and Steve Young, may be facing the axe. Insiders claim that the high-dollar employees are especially vulnerable and that the network will also take a harder view of the number of hours being worked by, worked by such employees. As a result, insiders expect there to be far fewer members of camera-facing elite and that the Remain will be doing far more work and will be seen by viewers more often. Sounds to me like if you're going to be a football analyst there or a basketball analyst, you better be prepared to work a whole bunch of shows. ESPN has already engaged in two rounds of layoffs, but to meet Disney's plans... To lay off upwards of 7,000 employees, there may be more than one wave still to come. In May, insiders insisted that no one was, quote, immune to layoffs and that they would come off despite the company's reported profits of $23.51 billion, which slightly exceeded expectations of $23.44 billion. ESPN staffers have also been told that all cost-cutting measures and saving measures are on the table and no one's job is safe, with the most vulnerable being the on-air personalities. In any case, the coming layoffs will be 
be far worse, likely far worse than the round in 2017 that were said to be, quote, a bloodbath when a hundred mostly camera-facing employees were trimmed. There have been more extensive layoffs since then, too. In 2015, the company dumped 350 workers and in 2020 released 300 workers. ESPN has been on a losing trend, though. Last year, it was reported that ESPN lost another 10% of its subscribers and was down 8 million customers since 2020 as more customers cease being cable customers. I know they're hoping to get some of that clientele back, maybe when ESPN becomes a a true standalone streaming platform. And they're talking about, you know, there's been a, a rumor that it may be called Flagship. I did a video on that where, you know, they were offered the service for something in the neighborhood of like 15 to $22. And you just strictly get all the ESPN networks, such as ESPN, ESPN2, ESPN News, you know the rest. ESPN3, I don't know if ABC would be part of that or not. Considering that sports is shown on ABC, maybe, maybe not. Who knows? Um, but people can get that through over-the-air antenna, right? Free TV to get their ABC, so there's that. Uh, but this is all part of, you notice it said Disney's, Disney's money's went up slightly. It's because they've been laying people off like crazy. They just shut down that big, expensive Star Wars hotel, and there's word that one of the rides over at Galaxy may end up getting cut as a cost-cutting measure. Bob Iger is having to cut all over the place. But again, they just gave Pat McAfee $17 million a year. That's interesting because my gut feeling anyway is that that salary would play, pay Subi, Susie Colbert and Steve Young's. I may be wrong. I may be wrong. But I've seen some of the list of the highest paid ones. And let's put it this way. It would possibly pay Mike Greenberg's and Steve, uh, Stephen A. Smith's by itself. So there's that. Going to be interesting to see if Greenberg's going to get cut. I don't think he will because he's on Get Up. And there's, of course, been talk of him maybe getting a new radio show, et cetera, et cetera. These guys are about to have to wear a lot of hats over at ESPN if they want to keep a job. Whereas I think guys like Steve Young, just Steve Young wants to come in and do Monday Night Football, and that's it. Going to be interesting to see because I think that's also the deal that, like, Alex Smith took. You know, I know Robert Griffin III, he wears a lot of different hats. He's on Monday Night Football. He does college football. Uh, and He's a college football analyst doing with an actual play-by-play -play guy. Uh, so I would assume RG3 is safe. But Alex Smith, I don't know if he's going to call games or be part of uh, actually on-air calling of games or not. Interesting. Tell me what you think. Man. ESPN employs their asses. I bet you can't squeeze the grease BB out of some of their butts right now. Peace. I'm out. Till next time. Thanks for watching the show. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Be sure to tune in next time on Black and White Sports.